yeah, what's going on YouTube? TV back here, short and sweet video for you guys today. Simply going to be explaining my preferences on scuff controller setups. If you guys are curious to buying one and not sure which modifications you want to get on each type of controller, going to do my best to explain the differences of the default sticks, the paddles, the different configurations you have the options to do. And yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the PlayStation 4 controller since it's the one we are going to be mainly using for competitive Call of Duty now. But I have a preference to the scuff sticks. They just feel a little bit wider on the thumbs and the default PlayStation 4 sticks are, uh, they aren't concave, which that's why I like scuff sticks more, but you can get convex ones as well. I just don't really like the feel of the stick kind of fighting back with your thumb in a sense. It sounds weird, but after playing with the concave sticks for so long, it's just sort of a preference of mine. So I highly recommend the scuff sticks due to the wider range of the stick itself and it, it's super grippy so if you if you get sweaty hands if you get if you get impaired in that sort of way the scuff sticks can definitely help with that and then the interesting thing i do is on the scuff playstation 4 controller i use a 360 control freak so i've always liked this cqc control freak the most for whatever reason that was on 360 fits on the scuff stick just fine so this is the new controller i just got the the Bumblebee or the Hornet, I forget what it's called exactly. And then we got the paddles on the back. I recommend just getting A and B. Some people don't like how the paddles hang down on the PlayStation 4 controller. And then also you can get fangs that extend out over here. I don't like those at all, but it's all really personal preference. But scuff sticks are the way to go in my opinion. And this is sort of my go-to setup for PlayStation 4 scuff controllers. Control Freak or a longer right stick. You can get a longer right stick with the scuffs, which is really cool about the sticks themselves. And then Xbox One, we'll switch over here. The new Infinity controllers, you can actually pop the sticks out and pop them back in. So if you have a long stick, you're not feeling it, you're not, you don't think it's helping you out at all, you can pop that stick out, pop a regular one back in. So that's the customization of scuff controllers themselves are just absolutely amazing. And then the paddles back here. I feel like the paddles feel much more comfortable on Xbox One compared to PlayStation 4 because the PlayStation 4 ones droop down a little bit too much, but overall, very quality controllers. And again, the default Xbox One sticks are just way too small in my opinion, and they just are too sensitive. I feel like the scuff ones make it a little bit easier to snap onto people. I don't know if it's just a personal preference of mine since I've been using them for so long now, but I highly recommend trying them out just largely due to the grips and then the controller themselves just look absolutely sick as you can see right here. And then highly recommend getting the scuff pro grip on the back of the controllers. You can see it on the PlayStation right here, this grip right here. Definitely is comfortable playing for a lot of time and gives you that extra grip and grip on a controller. It, it seems underrated, but it helps out a lot. So straightforward, easy peasy. Those are my explanations of how this the controllers uh, differ from default to scuff. And if you guys are curious, hopefully I help you out a little bit. Those are my go-to scuff setup for both my controllers on PS4 and Xbox One. Hopefully this guys help this video help you guys out and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.